So I've made some progress on the laser. Um, it's still not yet operational, but that will probably happen in the next couple of days and we'll see how that goes. The case is all of it's held on with four mil bolts. So that means I can remove any panel. Some of them are easier than others to do, but um, that means that I've, I should have good access in the future. I'll have to take them all off to actually align the, some of them off rather to, to align the laser. The top is made of one piece of acrylic, um, which I line bent along the front edge there. I haven't taken the all of the uh, paper off of off it yet because every flat surface attracts rubbish, particularly in my workshop. So I'll leave that until last. I've got a door at the front. And that allows a bit of pass through, it means you can put bigger material in there and it's sometimes easier to load it through the front than, than through the top. Uh, the lid doesn't as yet have any struts to attach it, so... So currently I'm having to use a piece of plastic to hold the, to hold the lid up, as you can see. Um, I plan on... in some way covering that in but I don't know whether I really need to or not um, it should have good extraction through those three ports there and then you can see the mirrors are basically aligned but only very basically they're, uh, they're quite off at the moment but there it is the stuff still I said before I'm quite pleased with the slat system I think that hopefully that will work quite well uh, but time will tell with that. I've been through many problems with this thing. <laughs> the lid's a bit floppy, but I've reinforced it with uh, these struts and I couldn't get an affordable price, a decent handle, so I made my own, which is quite long, as you can see. And also, my handle on the front door there. They've yet to be powder coated. I've been wiring the tube in. You can see there, and there's the power supply. Power supply is a DY13 power supply for my tube. Shouldn't do that, but I'll just turn it around. It's a tube. And I've, I'll, I've cut a couple of holes here to for the chiller, the chiller's going to go down there on the lower shelf. So this is the chiller I've chosen. It's a 5200 series, these are refrigerated chillers. I'd run it down to one degree and it, it goes that low very adequately. Um, but it doesn't need to be that cold for a laser, sort of 18 degrees will do you, depending on the ambient temperature. So there it is. Um, it's hard to believe that I've actually been working on this thing since January and it's now early July. Uh, where the time's gone I'm not sure but I've had many projects on the in, on the way. Some of which aren't complete. <laughs> but uh, that's the way things go. Um, you can see daylight through through there and there. They're going to have to be closed in in some way. I haven't actually quite arrived at how I'm going to do that. But, but that will happen. And I've got a builder plate to cover in the electronics on the side. Not sure whether to do a door or just have it so it screws on and off. I think it might be better to do a door. I'll see about that. There we go. Thanks for patiently waiting for this episode. Um, and when I've done the alignment, I'll. Uh, I'll come back and hopefully you can see it finally running. Thanks for your time.